While trying to get back in shape, I wanted to create a progress bar in this Excel worksheet to see my weekly wins. Normal graphs won't work, conditional formatting will work, but we'll need to use advanced formula rules to accomplish this. Hi there, my name is Mike and I help office professionals improve their skill set and workflow within the Microsoft Office suite so that they can build their career confidence. If you use Excel a lot, you're probably familiar with conditional formatting and how it can highlight interesting and unusual numbers. It can highlight certain text values and it can also help you identify your highest and lowest number values. But using formulas within conditional formatting can be a little bit tricky. So I've got two scenarios where we're going to do this so I can help use it in your own practice. This example was sent to me by a friend and they need our help setting up an alert system to test out the five different batches of wine that they were testing. If the corresponding weeks or the rows to each batch is the quality is less than five on average, then they typically toss the wine out and don't go with that batch. But if it's above five and there's no alert, then they'll keep that batch so the quality uh, remains high. Let's see how we can do that. So we'll highlight this and Excel is so smart. I'm going to show you a little trick. So we're going to highlight this whole thing and we'll just do the first row and see what happens. We'll do our conditional formatting, go to new rule and we'll go to use formula, to determine which cells to format. In our formula here, we'll do equal average, open parentheses, and then there's something cool that happens. Watch this. So C3 colon uh, N3 would be the last one. That's the last column there. N3. And then we're not done there. We have to go less than five. There's our formula. So now we have to choose a formatting that works. I kind of like more unique ones like this. So if we choose format, we go to the fill tab, pattern color. We'll do red. And then pattern style, maybe like 50% gray. Something like that. Just something unique. It's kind of this dotted pattern there. I'll press OK. That's our format to set up an alert system. The values in each row is less than five. I know it's not going to look like it because what we've done is get the first row, but Excel is so smart, it's going to know that we want to keep doing that for the rest of the rows when I press OK. See, look what happens. So it knows that this batch is good. If we take a look, I could test this, but this average is, is just greater than five. This one is less. But if the second one, which is great about conditional formatting, let's test it out. So. We'll say, okay, maybe in the coming weeks, or actually let's do this last one because it's not tested like the other ones. So we'll just add a few tens in there. Maybe the, the uh, quality change, we put some more effort into it. I don't know, something like that. I don't know how wine works, but here we go. So we'll just keep adding these, all tens all the way along. And then now the alert system goes off. So that's how conditional formatting works with that formula. And that'll tell our friend which batches of wine they should keep and which ones they need to toss. The second example is actually an ex exercise habit tracker that I've been working on so that I could keep myself honest and make sure that I'm working out just a little bit every day just to keep moving. But what I want in this scenario is to, in row 18 here, I want kind of a little bar that'll grow or at least turn a different color if I complete each week. How can you do that? Well, you can use the conditional formatting like this. Let's get the first column. So in theory that once I click this, what I want to happen here is this to change color. So if I've completed all of the check marks, what kind of formula would that be? Well, let's take a look. So we'll go to the conditional formatting. I've got this cell highlighted. And then to save time later, I'll just copy the formula over for the rest of this, the worksheet and then we can test it out. But from here, we'll go new rule and then formula again. And for this one, we want to use a function called the and function because the and function is great because it'll test a range and make sure that all of the criteria is met. So if I say that when it comes to Excel, check mark, another way to say that something's been checked is true. And if it hasn't been checked, it's false. So that last check mark is false, but every other check mark is true. So what we want to do is type in the first cell. So K10 is our first one. And then the ending one is K17. I want to make sure that through K10 to K17, our values equal true. And let's say we'll do like our last one, we'll do like a dark color, dark maybe dark blue with a gray, but lighten it up with a pattern style here, something like that. Press OK. So cell at the bottom should turn this format if I, or turn into that format, if I complete all of the check marks. Let's see if this works. So I'll press OK. And then this should, if that works, yes. OK, it did. So see how that kind of looks nice? It's not like overbearing, but it just kind of like lets us know, OK, we completed that part. On to the next week. Now, let's see if we can copy this and save time because I don't want to have to keep doing that for each one 12 times. That doesn't make sense. So let's just manage our rules here. I'm going to change this conditional formatting rule or modify it by going to manage rules. And then we're going to edit our rule. We're going to say that's fine right there, actually. That's, but we want to make sure that it applies to uh, K18 all the way through 
to V18. So it's in the same row, but it's V18 now. And we still wanna, and we do want the dollar signs that time. Okay, K18 to V18, we wanna apply it, press okay. And now look what happens when I complete the other weeks or complete checking them off. Now, if you wanna show your progress towards a goal visually using charts in Excel, I've got that on the video on your screen. And this is all about how you can create a thermometer chart in Excel. So you gotta check out that video. I'll see you over there. Thanks for watching, bye.